Weathering the weather with Ed. Sometimes he's cranky, sometimes he's goofy, but he's always got a joke. Before I met him, I said meteorology. Hey, guy, that's not for me. But now I'm weathering the weather with Ed. All right, sports fans. This is show number 20. This is show number 29, but it is episode 29. Thank we, you. We, we're going to decide whether it's climate history or history of the climate. But uh, either Six way, I'd like to announce that uh, we're planning. We're planning. <laughs> You better do that too. We're planning a live to, uh, call-in show. A lot, no, a dead one. A live <laughs> call-in show. Uh, we hope in September. I'm not giving you the year because we haven't quite settled yet. It should oh. be Dece December, Dece September 2014. <laughs> it will either be a Monday. Why am I a Monday night or a Tuesday night at about 7 p.m. Eastern time? Eastern. So you in Europe? Not Central. Yeah. Eastern. Thank you. You're welcome. Five, four Pacific, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so you people in Europe, you better get up, stay, sleep early, and then get up at midnight. <laughs> stay up late. Uh, we will eventually have a phone number, which does help for you to call in. It'll be live, and if I get any tough questions, my uh, my uh, co-host, co-host, my hostess here hostess. will answer them, and I will determine what she answers. Behind me yeah, is a flood. You. Now, we That's have our wave. what? It's a wave. All right. Behind you. I know. I know Margaret Beck, and uh, this has gone uh, nationwide now. I believe it was on CBS News on Sunday. And uh, they're still out. All still this out. stuff about it's imminent. My hair growing back is imminent. I don't think so. If I put a rug on it, it will be. Possibly. They still didn't, uh, there's nothing going on. And can you say greed? Greed. Greed. <laughs> All right. It was so bad. It's just a. If no. I can say this, it's it's just the big pissing contest now. Stop it. We're on air. <laughs> it is not. There's a neither side wants to give in. Neither. Stop it. I. It was so bad in there. How bad was it? How bad was how it? How bad was it? I, so bad that I was begging. Yes. And you know how much I got paid you for that? You crossed a picket line? I fell down on the picket line. How dare you? Well, I bled. I'm All right. So we got climate line. history. All right. Up. What, do you want to read this? I always end up All right, that. you start the beginning. Here's an intro. Thank it's you. Prob we probably won't finish. Don't pull it. I'll, get a, I'll bleed to death. I know. Thank you. <coughs> Don't clear your throat. Just read it. All right. Ah. Our planet probably experienced its hottest temperatures in its earliest days, when it was still colliding with the other rocky debris careening around the solar system. Careening? Careening. Wow, I remember her. Karina. Go ahead. The heat of these collisions would have kept Earth molten, with top of the atmosphere temperatures upwards of 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. It that's hot. Feeling hot, hot, that's hot. That's real hot, huh? You think it's hot out there today? That's hot. That's hot. Even after these, those first scorching millennia, however, the planet has s sometimes been much warmer than it is now. I will tell you. One of the warmest times was during the geologic period known as the Neoproto... Neoproterozoic yes, era. Yes, you remember. Between 600 and 800 million years ago. Yeah. Wow. Another warm age is a period geologists call the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, which occurred about 56 million years ago. We love Almost as old as you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. All right, the history of hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> All right. Studying indirect clues, you know, like uh, some TV show. The chemical and structural signature, the rock sign apparently, structural signatures of rocks, fossils, and crystals, ocean sediments, fossilized reefs, you remember. Oh, that's what they were smoking, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Thank you. Tree rings and ice cores. Scientists can infer past temperatures. We don't ice know how cores. accurately, but they can. And, uh, you know, uh, it, fossils, you don't even have to have the actual uh, object. An imprint of a dinosaur. Yes. The f thank you. <laughs> the imprint of the dinosaur, that's called a fossil. Yes, it, it is. is. Oh, thank you. You're fired. None so of are you. Okay. None of that helps with the early Earth, however, during the time known as the Hadean. Yes, because it was like Hades, or hot as hell, as we like to call it. I have a snake called Hades. I, w I can believe it. Earth collisions with other large planetesimals, actually. <laughs> planetesimals? Whatever. That means very small planets. Mm. 
like comets, for instance. <laughs> I thought you used that to clean. And are you? In our younger solar system, <laughs> including Mars-sized uh, or Mars-sized one, whose impact with the Earth is thought to have created the Moon. I thought that was Aunt Jemima, or Jeez. Pillsbury. <laughs> you would have melted and vaporized most of the rock at the surface of the Earth. That's not good because no rocks on Earth have survived from so long ago. Scientists have estimated early Earth conditions based on observations of the Moon and on astronomical models. Is that like Victoria's Secret? Yes. Okay. Very much so. Yeah. Following a collision that spawned, ooh, spawned, spawned. the moon, <laughs> the planet was estimated to have been, get this, 3,680 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, you're up next. Thank you. No, thank you. Where am I? You're right here next to me, right there. Thank you. Even after the collision stopped and the planet had tens of millions of years to cool. Yeah, I know, it was slow. <laughs> surface temperatures were likely more than 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Excuse me. Zircon crystals from Australia <laughs> only about 150 million years younger than the Earth itself. You want some Malox Plus or what? Go ahead. Thank you. Hint that our planet may have cooled faster than the scientists previously thought. Still, in its infancy, Earth would have experienced temperatures far higher than we humans could possibly survive. No kidding. But suppose we exclude the violent and scorching years when Earth first formed. That's the birth of the blues. When else has Earth's surface sweltered? Uh, outside today. Yeah. It's a little warm out there right now. Yeah. This is called thawing the freezer. Let me go. No, it's not thawing. It's thawing. Where the country are you from? This one. Between 600 and 800 million years ago. I was on vacation then, so I didn't get it. A period of time geologists called the Neoproteozoic Zork. Okay, good. Or the big N. The big evidence, N. Yeah, evidence suggests that suggests the Earth underwent an ice age. Well, no kidding. That's Did how it they really? got the dinosaurs show, remember? So cold that ice sheets not only capped the polar latitudes, but may have extended all the way to the sea level near the equator. The operative word on this is May. May. You know what I mean? Not June. Reflecting even more sunlight back, because it's a lighter surface, mm. so you reflect more light back. It's called albedo, who was our shortstop uh, back in Queens. Beetle? Albedo. Oh. It's reflectivity. <laughs> back into space as they expand. And ice sheets cool the climate and reinforce their own growth. Obviously, the Earth didn't remain stuck in the freezer. Oh, take a look outside. <laughs> so much did the planet... How, so how much did the planet thaw? Well, even... How much? I, I don't know. It, <laughs> it thawed a lot because I didn't go out there and freeze. Here you go. We're alternating this because somebody has to stay awake. Thank God. Yeah, please, this is a non-religious show. <laughs> Thank gosh. Just read it. Even while ice sheets covered more and more of Earth's surface, tectonic plates continue to drift and collide. Yeah, that's so the plates on the surface. Yes. They move, they move all over the place place and they're still moving and the way they figured out the way they figured out dinosaurs huh huh that the, 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 the plates shift is because they found fossils of the dinosaur I'm not even on my hands here <laughs> hi everybody fossils uh, fossils of the dinosaurs on in South America and in Africa oh there you are hi how you doing <laughs> you look marvelous today uh, South America and Africa, and you know the bulge in, sorry, the bulge, the bulge, the bulge in uh, South America fits into the indentation in Africa. Yeah, it's uh, so, so Pangaea. That yeah. was all the continents. Yeah. This is just these two. Well. So they used to be together, right up personal. Then they got divorced and they separated. They broke up. And, and some <laughs> because I don't think a dinosaur, you know, is going to swim how all these thousands of miles. You never know. Because he, he couldn't float that well. All right, go ahead. You never know. Thank you. All Which, right. of course, gave birth to the uh, uh, Disney show, Dinosaurs. Thank you. And Jurassic Park. On the lower, the lower Pangean Peninsula. Yeah. And Jurassic Park. Y y thanks. That was in Brooklyn. Jurassic. Volcanoes emit the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide. In our current ice age free world, the natural weathering of silicate rock by rainfall consumes natural consumes carbon dioxide over geologic time scales. That's a lot of time. Yes, it is. During the frigid conditions of the Neoproterozoic, Proterozoic, you know, why don't we just, the big end. The big end. Yeah. Rainfall became rare. 
with volcanoes churning out carbon dioxide and little or no rainfall to weather rocks and consume the greenhouse gas, temperatures climbed. Did they? If they did. I what evidence do scientists have that this actu all actually happened some 700 million years ago? Some of the best evidence is capped carbonates lying directly over the Neoproterozoic Age glacial dis deposits. I think we're losing people with this. <laughs> Give me this. Cap carbonates, layers of calcium-rich rocks such as limestone, only form in warm water. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. All right. What is this? Where are you? The fact that these thick calcium-rich rocks, <laughs> I'm doing a sports game, layers sat directly on top of rock deposits. <laughs> Le left the Mets behind by retreating. Oh, yeah. Andy's Glaciers out. Glaciers indicate that temperatures rose significantly near the end of the Neoprotozoa. Yeah. Perhaps reaching, perhaps. Perhaps. Reaching a global average higher than 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, that's hot. Today's is about 60 Fahrenheit. So that's, don't yawn. 60 <laughs> Fahrenheit. Now, the tropical Arctic, another stretch of early history. The science is counted among the planet's warmest occurred about, this is relatively recently, 55 to 56 million years. They're going to cut it down by millions. This is great. Thank God. About 55 <laughs> to 50, 56 million years ago. The evidence is known as the Pliocene Eocene, thermal maximum, better known as Pitum. <laughs> Pitum. Yeah. Okay. So we'll skip that because we're getting too deep here. Ah. We're in too deep? I think, Tom, right we are. Mm -hmm. All right. Like nothing we've ever seen, Earth's hottest period. The Hadean, <laughs> the late Neoproterozoic, whatever. Proterozoic. Whatever the PTM, which means potential energy temperature mass. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Occurred before humans existed. Well, no wonder I didn't know about it. Stop that. You were almost that old. Those, those ancient climates would have been like nothing our species has ever seen. Modern human civilization, with its permanent agriculture or better yet, agriculture, and settlements have developed over just the past 10,000 years or so. It's just a blink in the eye. The period has generally been one of the low temperatures and relative global, if not regional, climate stability. Yeah, right. Now we're unchanging it. All right. So any questions on that from the audience? Let's paint the audience here, George. Thank you for painting the audience. I, we got, I'll put that over here. We got rid of the crickets. Now Thank let you. Me, what the heck is this? This is the history of climate change. I c yeah, so we have the older climate, now some climate change. And uh, they, what, they changed uniforms? Yeah. By the way, uh, the PETM P e was our center fielder. Uh-huh. Petum. Petum, that's right. <laughs> Petum. El Petum. Hey, we actually got one right. <laughs> Great arm, but he couldn't hit. All right, go ahead. All right. The origins of climate science go back to the late 18th and 19th century. Oh, no. Have you ever read this before? No. Oh, okay. You're killing me here. Century interest in the study of glaciers. Already in the 1770s, a Swiss scientist, Horace Benedict de Saussure, no, really? Saussure suggested that the atmosphere is like a greenhouse. Protecting that's in the Jewish neighborhood, right? The greenhouse. Yeah. These jokes would just go over New York City, not anywhere else. Of course. Yeah. Protecting both the Earth's surface and those who live on it from extreme temperatures. It'll also go over in Boca. Yeah. That's a, on Los Angeles, too. It's Fairfax. Well, considering those are the only people that watch you. Yeah. Ooh, an ethnic slur. Go ahead. Later, John Tyndall, and I Ooh. meant New Yorkers. Oh, sorry. One of the great British scientists of the 19th century was the first person to do experiments that confirmed the greenhouse effect. But in the 19th century, the term greenhouse effect was not synonymous with global warming. Instead, the few scientists who worried about climate change feared an opposite course, global cooling and the return of an ice age that could threaten civilization. Oh, no. We wouldn't want to threaten civilization and cut the wars out, would we? No, of course not. Uh, all right. This is, this is, I can't go on. Oh, second page is blank. Thank God. All right. You see, we memorized all this. <laughs> yes. The 19th century Swiss scientist Louis Agassiz. I don't know. Hmm. That's Swiss? Anyway, it's considered one of the very first scholars to put forward a history of climate change. He was then traded to the L.A. Dodgers because yes, it was, was incorrect. Agassiz, Agassiz, that's the, that's the uh, tennis player, Agassiz, theorized that the growth and recession of glaciers over eons, that's a lot of time, eons of time had sculpt, sculpted, 
Alps in Europe, this is great, the Great Lakes in North America, and other terrestrial formations, such as the City Field in New York. <laughs> no, okay. No. He, he uh, additionally, uh, what is this? Positive? Oh, p the heck is that? I don't know what he, the idea he put forth, the idea that Earth had experienced shifts in temperature and climate conditions. No kidding. I guess he, whatever, was real invented with the idea of climate change. Jurgen writes in the quest. This is, we got Man of La Mancha in here now. All right, let's see, we got 1894, but that climate could have worked out too soon. Uh -huh. uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Back at the synagogue. Go ahead. Cut some of this out. All right. We're going to have, this is going to have part 49 of this stuff, the yeah. way we're going. All right. All right. In 1894, Svante Arrhenius, a Swedish chemist. I don't think it's a, <laughs> sound right. He made him sound like it's from Mexico. Go ahead. Follow Tyndall with calculations showing the effects of carbon dioxide on the temperature of the atmosphere. But unlike current concerns regarding climate change, Arrhenius welcomed the idea of a warming as he thought it would improve both the weather and agriculture in Scandinavia. Oh, no. Is that where all the blondes come from? Yes. Yes. As the count. 20th century progressed, other researchers such as Guy Callender supported Arrhenius' findings and attempted to refine the scientific understanding of the role carbon dioxide plays in climate change. Now, has climate change, have they or have they not? Yes. Good. <laughs> was, was, Ca all right. was Cape Cod <laughs> ever covered in ice? Yes. Did they pull the streets in on Cape Cod during the winter when it was no. covered with ice? You're darn right they did. What do you mean, no? I don't know. You ever go down here in the winter? It's sundown, pull the streets in. Yeah. All right. They roll them up. They, uh, yeah. It was all the way down to, to uh, Cape Cod. It got down to uh, City Field on Long Island. Long Island? Long Island, and it stopped. Because the Mets were on a hot streak. They won one in a row. Oh, thank God. All right. Let's skip down a little bit. Um, go to the bottom. I'll oh, go to the next to bottom. The next to this one? Yes. The 1970s, your finest hour. Yeah, However, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> saw a major debate between those who feared global warming and those who global? feared. Global? It's global. I said global. You said global. All right, go ahead. Do you want to read this? Not particular. And those who feared global cooling you, uh, and the possibility of a new ice age. But improved satellite imaging and computer modeling in the years that followed reinforced the idea of global warming. What are you in a hurry? We got weeks to do this. <laughs> Go ahead. These models also suggest that suggested that human activities played a significant role in causing such change by releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere through a combustion of hydrocarbons. Yes. Yeah, so, so when uh, this all started, when it's not the, this, I'm getting dizzy. It, that all the, the industrial revolution which of course was started at Market Basket, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In the 1870s, I believe. That was the start. What am I at? That was the start. <laughs> and if I'm elected, you're crazy. Uh, you that, go that, on. That, that's what started the, uh, that's when the CO2 jumped in the atmosphere, because CO2, uh, CO2 is, and will always be, part of the natural atmosphere. So this uh, too much CO2 is from, uh, Fossil fuels. Fossil yeah. fuels. Fossil fuels, yes. All right. I know that very well. Thank you. I remember Thank him. You. Yeah. All right. He was our catcher. A milestone in the history of the climate change debate occurred in 1988. No, not then. Oh, yeah. I was two. When the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was established. Ooh. This international network of scientists from around the world issues regular reports that synthesize current climate change. How come I wasn't invited research. to this? They don't like you. Was I busy? They don't like you. Was I at the doctor's office again? Probably. probably. Ooh, Knowing you. Okay, probably. There we go. There you go. Thank you, Juan. Well, go ahead. Over the past two decades, scientific consensus about the reality of climate change has generally solidified, although dissent does remain. No, God, no kidding. The Republicans? No, never. There's always dissent. Never. Yes, I remember the Miss Dissent. Yes. In yep. Europe, the European Union. European EU. Union yes. has adopted goals of significantly reducing carbon emissions. In the United States, efforts to get an overall national policy on climate change have so far failed. Big surprise. And we are proud of it. Apparently. Notice how I'm not in there again. We are pr control room. I'm not in there again. All right, go ahead. I'm not going in. Jeez. 
But other policies, such as renewable fuel requirements for electric utilities and new automobile fuel efficiency standards, seek to limit carbon emissions. Yes. And recently, public opinion in the United States has moved on climate change as well. I don't think According so. According to They're a too few... busy with sports. And, and the Emmys. <laughs> thank God. Not to mention Victoria's Secret's catalog. That's what you're interested in. No, I'm not, because my heart is weak. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I know. I sweat enough without looking at it. What am I going to... I look at that and I go, hey, what's this? Thank you. Yeah, I know. You don't remember what it is. What? Nothing. According to a Pew Research Center study published in October 2012, about two-thirds of all Americans agree that there is solid evidence that the Earth is warming. I hope so. <laughs> then at the end of October 2012, Superstorm Sandy, which flooded parts of the New Jersey coast, lower Manhattan, and other areas of New York. Not to mention the subway. I'm telling you, it was rough getting that train out of there. In other areas of New York, further boosted concern about climate. Today, the discussion around climate change has shifted from is it happening to what is the extent of human impact and what should we do about it? Well, we'll just debate this for the next 2,000 years and Earth will be gone. We're that way we wouldn't have look, to worry about humans it. Humans will blow up the planet. Humans will. Oh, not on. Humans. <laughs> hey, you oh, are. hi. How you doing? I, I know she's been looking at. Well, certainly. I fixed my hair for this. What hair? Uh, we're gonna blow the humans will blow up the planet before we have to worry before about it. Before we this. fix anything. Yeah, and I'm not particularly worried about it. And, and to you Republicans, Keep up the good work. <laughs> and then, all right, what do we have here? I don't know. Climate, global climate change. Ah. Didn't we already cover that? We're going to cover it several times <laughs> because, you know, you want to stretch this stuff. Thank God. You, hey, this is a non Thank gosh. I'm sorry. Thank gosh, gosh. Thank gosh. <laughs> all right, the current and future consequences of global warming. One. I can't read like this. The potential future effects of global warming change include more frequent wildfires. I think we're proving it this year. Yeah, oh yeah. It's not even fire season out in California. Longer periods of drought in some region, aka also known as the West in California. Unbelievable. And an increase in the number, duration, intensity of tropical storms. What a, the tropical storm, uh, the tropical storms in the Atlantic have been, the ones in, there's one in uh, didn't Hawaii get hit twice? No, the second one went wide. It was a kickoff. Ah. Went wide. And uh, there's one off the... Uh, no field goal. The one in eastern Pacific off the Baja. Last time I said, 165 ah, ah, ah. mile an hour sustained winds. Not Yo! Haze. Why can't that be over here? What are you, nuts? <laughs> That's category... <laughs> yes. They can't see it. Put your five up. <laughs> Go ahead, put it up. That's category... Oh, category <laughs> five. Or as I say in class, category five. There it is. <laughs> Boo -boo -boo no. Category five, that is that is called death and destruction guaranteed. I I heard that. All right, number two. New Orleans knows all about that. Too bad. Be nice. Well, they haven't even fixed it. Same, but they put they the same. They don't have any money to fix it. No, it's all going to Greater Slobovia. Yeah, I know. All right, a degree of difference. So, comma, the Earth's average temperature has increased about one degree Fahrenheit during the 20th century. That doesn't sound big, but it is. It is. What's the, all right, one degree may sound like a, what does sound like a small amount? I gotta edit these things. But it's an unusual event in our planet's recent history. I covered the uh, Big Bang, you know. Watch, watch. I what know got. you did. We get letters of people who are watching. The Big Bang, what is this? Big Bang Theory? That was the start, yes. It's not a great show. No, it's terrible. Beginning of the universe. Earth's climate record preserved in tree rings. Yes. Ice cores. That's at a bar. No, Kinda you like dig into the air. Stop it. No. <laughs> and coral reefs shows that the global average temperature is stable over long periods of time. All right. Furthermore, I'm still making small what? Oh, small changes in temperature correspond to enormous changes in the environment. For instance, your friend has to move to Albuquerque because uh, the change in temperature. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just work with me here. I'm trying. For example. All right. You ready? The 422. For example, at the end of the last ice age, I was in Florida, but no, I was in Boca for that. When, when the northeast of the United States was covered by more than 3,000 feet of ice, that was a deep, I'm telling you. He told me to, to get some ice cubes. I went all the way down. Didn't have to go that far. Average temperature were only 5 to 9 degrees cooler than today, so big change was just knocking off a few degrees. 
And I want to tell you here. All right, now can you start? Where am I starting? Number three? We, you're going to start out the window. Right there, number three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Global climate change has already ob had observable effects on the environment. True. Glaciers have shrunk. Ice on rivers and lakes is breaking up earlier. Plant and animal ranges have shifted. And trees are flowering sooner. Uh, granted. Granted? Didn't they flower late this year, though? Yes. In general. Well, that's because it was cold all the way up until, like, June. That's all relative. And if I told you before, we don't have any relatives on this show. No relatives. All right. Effects that scientists had predicted in the past would result from global climate change are now occurring. Loss of sea ice, accelerated sea level rise, and longer, more intense heat waves. Could you enunciate a little bit more? It was like sea ice. <laughs> Thank it's like you. The, like the new player on the Red Sox. Theft for this. It's theft for this. Go ahead. Scientists have high confidence yes. that global temperatures will continue to rise for decades to come, largely due to greenhouse gases produced by human activities. She'll blame it on the Jews again, huh? The greenhouse, the green, the Greenbergs, the Greensteins, and the Steins. Greenhouse. Oh, sorry. I can say these things. The folks. Intergovernmental <laughs> Panel on Climate Change, or the IPSI. <laughs> How about a T there, the tipsy? which includes more than 1,300 scientists from the United States and other countries. There's the problem. It's from other countries. No, the problem is the United States. That's right, yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Forecast a temperature rise of 2.5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit over the next century. Oh, for crying out loud. Can we get a wider range on that? No. We will win between 50 and 100 games. Thank you. According to the IPCC, the extent of Ipsis? climate change... Iptic. 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 Epic Go ahead. The extent of climate change effects on individual regions will vary over time and with the ability of different societal and environmental systems. What's societal? Societal. Oh, sorry. Well, you didn't pronounce it. Stop it. Go ahead. Oh. I don't even know where I was now. You keep interrupting. How you doing? Nice to see you there in Boca. Yeah. <laughs> the IPCC predicts that increases in global mean temperature of less than 1.8 to 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1 to 3 degrees Celsius, yeah, yeah, what are, what above 1990 European? levels will yeah. produce beneficial impacts in some regions and harmful ones in others. No kidding, because even with global warming, some places get colder for a while. Yes. But it doesn't last. No, it does no, not. No, it doesn't. By Net the way, they've been having severe weather in Europe. Tornadoes. What is Hurricanes? No, tornadoes, not hurricanes, yet. Yet. And uh, <laughs> I never... I've seen pictures on Twitter. And uh, you have I Twitter. Got, uh, thank you. Finish. Thank you. Net annual costs will increase over time as global temperatures increase. Almost finished. All right. I'll stop here. Leave that mark. I'll stop here. Mark there. Mark. Where's Mark? I, I'd like to announce again because if, if, before I grow hair here, here we, we're going to do a, a call-in show. Isn't that right, George? Thank you, George. Let's give George a hand. All right, George. All right. Ow. Uh, we're going to do a call-in show, hopefully in September of this year. We're not sure yet. You Thank already you. said that. I'm repeating it because I'm hyping it. You're repeating it because you're old. Stop it. And uh, it's going to be either a Monday or a Tuesday night because they're not open at late after that. Yes. About 7 o'clock. Eastern at, time. Thank you. Eastern time, which at that time will still be daylight. Uh, it, what else? Don't forget to wish him a happy birthday yes. on August 30th. Yes, I'm turning 14 again. Thank you. And again. Mwah. Thank Mwah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the music? But I, I don't hear any music.